Hey there, how's it going? This is Budva, the most popular beach destination of Montenegro here in the Balkans. The beach is right out there. The old city is uh, just a short walk away from here. I'm going to head over to the uh, beach, check it out, and uh, give you a taste for this nice spot on the Adriatic Sea and answer the question, is Budva worth uh, visiting? It definitely depends on your personal preference for uh, beach vacation spots. It's not exactly what I'm looking for and you might see why, but uh, anyways, going to head over there and check it out. Azuro Beach. Get your shiny tacky beach items here and your beer. And there are tons of uh, nice, cheap eating options around here. Check it out, the Eiffel Tower. Not quite the same as the real thing or even the one in Vegas, but I love Budva and Montenegro. Five euros for flip-flops, not a bad deal. And here we go, almost to the beach. You will not have it to yourself, unless maybe you're here in January on a rainy day. Check this out, folks. You can hardly find a square inch of sand to lay your towel on. Now you do have to pay for the beach chairs. I asked about it a couple of days ago and it was basically like 30 euros for the ones right by the water and then 10 euros for the ones away from the water. But the spots without the beach lounge chairs are free here and then got to pay over here. And so out there is the old town. It's quite a different scene from the beach scene here. However, it is also super touristy. All right, gonna keep on uh, walking back that way, get around to the old town. Hey there. That's the lady that owns the place where I'm staying, where I have a private room for just $17. I ate at this place a couple of days ago and had a tortilla, it was called, kind of like a cross between a burrito and a Greek gyro. It was like three euros, I think, and super big.
And here we go into the old town. A different world. And I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. I just came here yesterday and walked around randomly. You can't get too lost. And if you do, you'll get found pretty quick. Cool, a little uh, hidden away spots here. Starry Grad means old city. How much is it to? Cool. Wow, this is really cool. And we'll get some nice views from uh, higher up. Hawaii. That water looks nice and clear. And this puts things in perspective. Where I'm staying is straight back in there. Just a 15 minute walk from here or so. Croatia is not very far up the coast that way. I came down from there a couple of days ago. I've been here uh, two nights and then tonight is my last night and then tomorrow I will um, either go uh, south along the coast or inland. I haven't even decided yet. But uh, south of here is Albania and it is not very far. The coast of Montenegro is uh, fairly short. You can do it in like a couple of hours. So. And as you can see, it is mountainous. The mountains just keep on going back that way, I think. This beach is called uh, Mogra. Mog Mogra? No, Pizana. Mogra is there. Pizana. Mogra is on Hawaii? No, this is St. Uh, Nicola or our little Hawaii. Mogren is there, and this is called Pizana. Gotcha. Do you know how long it's been called Hawaii? It's like always been Hawaii? No. It's not, is it named after in America, Hawaii? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's like it our is. little Hawaii. I see, okay, cool. And you are you from uh, Budva? Yeah, yeah, I live here for 18 years in okay. August. Those are some apartments, there are restaurants, but it's too expensive, I think. People actually live in them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Dangerous in the winter because uh, the waves are like oh, get really very big. High. Some people just fell from here. Wow, because the water comes and the uh, no, catches them. Uh, because tourists want to take photos and they sit there. Ah, and okay. And, and then they fall over. Be pretty high. Really high. Yeah. Where did you come from? Well, I'm from the United States. Really? From California. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Well, California is very uh, varied because there's mountains, there's 
there's ocean, there's uh, the valley. Oh, yeah. and surf? Uh, not really. I've surfed a few times when I was, when I was in high school. Yeah, I'm afraid of sharks. So I yeah, me go. too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why I like the Mediterranean. There's almost no sharks. Uh, Which are some other uh, places you can recommend uh, on the coast? I was thinking about uh, like Usinj or something? Or? Ultin. Yeah. It's so amazing place. Um, yeah. Um, you can go to kite surfing um, part of the beach, but the water is uh, like here for hundred meters. Oh, water. okay. But you say so you recommend it, huh? It's, it's yeah, nice. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. People cool. love to go there. Okay. And this is uh, one of the entrances to Old Town. Okay, I think I came in this way. <laughs> yes. Uh, Podgorica is nice. But it's pretty hot there. Yeah, yeah, that, because no sea breeze. Yeah. And what's your name? Senya. Senya? Yeah. Uh, yes. Cool. Hey. Amazing mural there. And leaving the old town. That was just a spontaneous tour. I asked if I could go into this one place, and uh, it was just a Euro 50, another part of the uh, old town. And she just offered to uh, take me around so she could open up that one gate, and I got a tour in the process. So. All right, well, that is a taste of Budva Montenegro. Is it worth visiting? It's worth stopping through. It's, uh, you know, not somewhere that I would choose to stay for like a whole week if I had a vacation or whatever, but if you're heading down the coast of Montenegro, check it out.